Hi everyone, welcome to my channel Yarnoculus and welcome to part 10 of my lowercase alphabet blanket and the agenda for today is we're going to complete rows number 99 to 104 okay this was the most requested blanket pattern on my youtube channel as well as my blog and i am having so much fun sharing the pattern with all of you guys but i've also started planning for my next series and if you have any suggestions for what i should take up next please mention that in the comments below if there has been a pattern that you have been looking for or you want me to cover on my youtube channel please let me know i would love to work on it and for now if you like my work please hit the subscribe button and that way you're gonna be notified of every pattern that i release and we're gonna have a lot of fun crocheting together and with all of that said let's not waste any more time and let me take you straight to the pattern for row number 99 let's go all right everyone so once you're done with row number 98 for row 99 chain one turn your work and we'll start with six single crochets and a bobble stitch After the bobble, let's do 9 single crochets. Bobble in the next. Nine single crochets after that. Bobble in the next stitch. Ten single crochets after the bobble. Bobble in the next stitch. Eight single crochets after that. Bobble in the next stitch, 8 single crochets again, bobble in the next, 2 single crochets after that, a bobble in the next stitch. Seven single crochets next. Bobble in the next. Eight single crochets. A bobble. Ten single crochets, bobble in the next, six single crochets after that, Bobble in the next. Three single crochets. Bobble in the next. Three single crochets again. Bobble in the next. Four single crochets after that. Bobble in the next. And let's end this row with six single crochets. Chain 
chain one then you work for row number 100 and you know what to do for this row it's gonna be a row of single crochet in every stitch so go ahead and do row number 100 and meet me back for row number 101 Alright everyone, I'm done with row number 100 and that was a row of single crochet in every stitch. So I'm gonna start with row number 101 uh, and I have to change my color because I ran out of this yarn and I'm not able to find this particular shade anywhere. But instead I got another shade of purple which is this one and I'm gonna use that. Now changing of colors and the color combination is totally upon you. You can either go for uh, the same color all throughout the blanket, change colors every now and then then as you want to do it okay so that's totally up on you so i'm going to start using my new color and for that let's do a slip knot first you can do this without a slip knot as well but i just like to put a slip knot and then i'm just going to attach this here pull my new yarn through both the loops that's the loop from the previous color and through the loop on your hook and that's the slip knot just pull this tight now that my yarn is attached I'm gonna go ahead and cut the previous one there you go and just to make it a little bit simpler for me and not leave any ends I'm gonna crochet over both of these tails but you can always weave it in later okay so now let's start with row number 101 for row number 101 we'll start with six single crochets You just make sure that if you are crocheting over the tail, the tail should be in front of you and not back because this side is the back of the blanket and this is the front. You are actually working on the wrong side and you don't want your tail ends to appear on the right side. Okay. A bobble in the next nine single crochets after that a bobble in the next nine single crochets again bobble in the next ten single crochets after that Bobble in the next. Eight single crochets after that. Bobble in the next. Eight single crochets next. Bobble in the next two single crochets and a bobble. Seven single crochets after that. Bobble in the next eight single crochets Bobble in the next ten 
10 single crochets after that bobble in the next six single crochets bobble in the next three single crochets bobble in the next three single crochets again bobble in the next Four single crochets, bobble in the next, and we'll end the row just like we started with six single crochets. Alright, that was row number 101. For row 102, chain 1, turn your work and you know what you need to do. It's going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch. So that's going to give you your row number 102 and come back for row number 103. Okay everyone, so I'm done with my row number 102. So for row number 103, chain 1 and turn your work okay let's start row number 103 with 6 single crochets a bobble in the next nine single crochets after that Bobble in the next. Nine single crochets again. Bobble in the next. Ten single crochets after that. Bobble in the next. Eight single crochets after that. Bobble in the next. Eight single crochets next. Bobble in the next. A single crochet and a bobble. Eight single crochets. Bobble. Eight single crochets again. Bobble in the next.
10 single crochets after that bobble in the next six single crochets bobble in the next three single crochets next bobble three single crochets again Bobble and four single crochets after that. Put a bobble in the next stitch. And let's end this row with six single crochets. chain 1 turn your work and let's do row number 104 which is going to be a row of single crochet in every stitch okay so get that done and i'll see you back for row number 105 All right, everyone, I think it's a good time to stop for today. And I hope I have inspired you to make this gorgeous blanket and crochet along with me. I'm going to be back with the next bunch of rows very soon. Meanwhile, I would love to hear your feedback on my work. And if you have any suggestions as well, please mention them in the comments below. I love to read your comments and reply to them. So please keep them coming. All right, then until next time, take care and happy crocheting.